What's going on, family? What's going on? What's going down? What's shaking? Welcome to another episode of Jonathan Soul. Happy May the 4th. I'm going to say May the 4th be with you. And, uh, you know, all, all Star Wars fans, rise up! And uh, I just wanted to share a little bit about the, uh, the Star Wars audiobooks that mean a lot to me. I'm a big Star Wars fan. I've seen all the movies in the theaters except for the new shit. The last one I seen was The Force Awakens, which was trash. I couldn't bring myself to see the other ones and, uh, and everything like that. But um, I got about almost 30 audiobooks, I think. I know there's hundreds out there, but, you know, I'm, I, I'm thoughtful about it. I, I weighed into it. And I try to steer clear of the new shit. I don't want to read nothing with Mary Sue, Ray, or, or none of them other weirdos and stuff like that. Uh, I like the I like the what I consider canon, the old school stuff. So let's start with the first audio book from Star Wars I ever bought, which was this one, Darth Plagueis, uh, written by James Lucino, and it was read by uh, Daniel Davis. Epic, epic. Before I go on, there's two Star Wars uh, books that I recommend to anybody. This one, and Heir to the Empire. Heir to the Empire, you can't go wrong. It gives you you know, an excellent, uh, I guess, uh, round two of the Star Wars universe after the Death Star got blown up for the eleventh time, and uh, and so that's where you, you know, you you get introduced to Thrawn, and well, not technically he was in Outbound Fight, you know, what I mean that book. That's another one I read. But anywho, um, let me get into it. So this is the first one I bought. The narration by Daniel Davis is fucking epic. He read this book like he wrote it. Okay, some of the phrases he drops, it's just like quotables. All right, some fanboying. Let me let me move on. Uh, the Bane series is another series that I got. Um, I'm clicking on it. I'm gonna stop it before it, before it plays. Uh, there's a trilogy here. The, the you know the Rule of Two and two other ones. Very good. Very well written. Uh, Drew Carpishian wrote it, and I'm trying to see who. I can't remember who the voice actor was. It's like a Mark Thompson and Jonathan Davis, you know what I mean? One of those two guys. But um, but yeah, so uh so it's a terrific anything, any of these uh three, the the Darth Bane uh is is definitely a win. Uh here's the other one, Path of Destruction. Uh let me see if they tell me who the uh who the person is who Zone who wrote it, who read it. Uh don't tell me. Yeah, this is like the only the only stuff I like, I think, from the old Republic vibration. Um yeah, so anyway, so I'm a big Thrawn fan. As you can see, I got uh, Thrawn here. And uh, don't worry about the percentage. You know, I've listened to these books multiple times. And um, and Thrawn is like one of the new characters that I like. I think he was introduced in Outbound Flight. And then later on in Heir to Empire. I uh, could be wrong on that. But, um, but yeah, I really like Thrawn. He's like the evil space Sherlock Holmes. So, uh, so I like him. I like him for that. And, uh, so anything with Thrawn, I was trying to, to was trying to buy. All right. So a matter of fact, I actually pre-ordered the, uh, the Thrawn, uh, Ascendancy book. I think I got the audio book, uh, as well. So, um, yeah, but you know, like the Star Wars, the new shit, I'm not really into it. All right. So anyway, so, uh, so that, 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 all right. So my audio books is like divided up on the three platforms. One is the iBooks which I think it's just books now and then audible and then um, uh, audible by way of like Amazon and then um, Google play. Google play is the cheapest. If you guys want to buy a lot of books like me, uh, Google play is the cheapest. Uh, the most expensive, I think uh, is it, it ranges between audible and, um, and uh, iBooks. Uh, but I found that some books I can get on iBooks, I can't find on Audible and vice versa. But I've seen everything on uh, on uh, Google Play Bookstore. I'm sorry, this thing is bouncing around. All right, so let me go to the next one, which is Audible. Audible, I just got this one, Thrawn uh, Alliances. So I got Thrawn, Thrawn Alliances, uh, uh, Thrawn Treason, and then I pre-ordered the, uh, the Ascendancy. Thrawn is an introduction to Thrawn. Um, uh, it's a, I don't know if it's a retcon. I think it's a retcon because Outbound Flight introduces Thrawn. You know what I mean? But I guess Outbound Flight came first 
and then the, maybe the ascendancy got more interested and then they dropped Thrawn uh, where he could be found by the Empire. Maybe that's the way they want to finesse it. And I think it's finesse. I think uh, 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 Timothy Zahn is a terrific uh, writer and everything. And I think Mark Thompson is a, is a fantastic uh, voice actor. So in Alliances, you can tell by the cover, we get a, a sense of, um, you know, the relationship between Thrawn and, and Darth Vader. And it's beautiful because, you know, uh, Timothy Zahn does this kind of, you know, back and forth, you know, present day and back in the day, present day, back in the day. And so um, and so we get a sense of the the um, history that Vader and uh, Thrawn have. And, you know, Vader is very well represented in this. You know, Vader don't care about nobody. You know what I mean? He's just about himself and impressing the emperor and so forth, and then here's this new guy, who's this blue guy, come up, come up in here, and everything like that, and so, in the beginning of the book, the emperor kind of pairs him up on a mission, and so, you know, there's kind of some, some friction between them, and eventually, issues, you know, progress, so this book is pretty good, the only criticism I have, and let me check my time, oh shit, don't tell me the time, huh, the only criticism I have is that, um, because uh, Thrawn is like very, analytical and he's very deductive during the narrative sometimes timothy zahn slows the action down so we can see thrawn sizing people up and trying to figure shit out and it's like he didn't do that back in the day like in air to empire you know he didn't do that even though he was just a smart the other thing is and i guess it sounds like a criticism but it's okay it's art um he makes Thrawn more of a sympathetic. Not even he's not even the villain in this. He's just a character for this Nazi Empire piece. You know what I mean? So I like my villains cold blooded. You know what I mean? I like my you know. So Darth Vader, to me, was true to form, and then he he tweaked he, he retconned uh, uh, Thrawn. So that part I didn't like, but you know, it's still a very good story. Uh, very good story. All right, so that's it. There's no Star Wars over here. All right, so that's uh, that is uh, what's this? That's Audible. Okay, so all of my Star Wars books are over here. All right, most of them anyway. So um, so let's see. So once I got hooked on Thrawn, I tried to get everything with Thrawn. Outbound flight. It just occurred to me I don't have. Uh, by the way, family, if you guys don't have bread right now because of the Corona or the the, the, the forcing us home. You can listen to a lot of these audiobooks on YouTube. Just type in Star Wars audiobooks and people have kindly uploaded stuff. Uh, some of the things have been taken down, like uh, Dark Plagueis is up there for a while, like the whole nine hours or however many it was. But, you know, look, people, you know, try to, you know, tweak the names or whatever, change the names up or whatever. All right, so Thrawn, um, Treason was whack. <laughs> I'm just telling you straight up, it was whack. It was whack. It was whack. The premise is whack. It was just whack. So, uh, so you know, but, I mean, you see, it only be so whack because it's Timothy Zahn, and he's a very good writer. But I'm just telling you it's whack. So the older stuff I enjoy. So, like, Vision of the Future, which is here, and then um, Spectre of the Past, that's another Thrawn uh, novel. Thrawn had a contingency plan, and so, you know, so forth like that. So that was very interesting. Um, and uh, let's see what else. Um, Last Command. Uh, this is all part of that black, uh, that, let me see. Let me just make sure I get my, I know it's finished, yo. Uh, oh no, it's doing it. Okay, that's not what I want. Anyway, so, um, long story short, uh, Last Command is part of a Thrawn trilogy. Uh, Last Command, the Black Ship Crisis or something, and some other one. Very good. That's the classic Thrawn. Very smart, uh, thinking three steps ahead, uh, kind of a thing. Got a contingency for his contingencies. <clears throat> that's what I like. I don't like the sympathetic, oh, I'm just doing this for my, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't like that. Uh, let me see here. So down at the bottom, you guys see uh, uh, Tyrant, Tyrant's Test and uh, Before the Storm. Uh, I think Before the Storm was also that, uh, yeah, the Black Ship, Black Fleet Crisis. That was good because it gave uh, Lando some shine and that uh, showed how clever Lando is. I don't like that, you know, they kind of, have them underfoot sometimes, but that's just the way they write Lando. Uh, Lobot has some shine in this one and everything, if, if I remember, if memory serves. So uh, so this is a good, I would recommend that. <clears throat> I would definitely recommend that. 
All right, uh, let's see here. Uh, Fatal Alliance, I couldn't get through. I tried several times, just couldn't get through the book. Uh, the New Jedi Order, honestly, I don't remember it very well, so I'm not going to comment on it. Revan. Revan was a major disappointment, okay? I'm just going to tell you straight up. Drew Carperson <clears throat> knocked it out the park with Bane. All the way out the park. Into the parking lot. You know what I mean? But with this... See, I, I became a fan of Bane, not because of Old Republic, which I have on my machine and have, have on this laptop. I haven't even played it yet. So that shows you that I'm really just with the audiobooks. You know what I mean? I don't buy no lifesavers. I don't play the Old Republic. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm just in the books and going to the movies. So, so a fan film turned me on to Revan. And I was like hyped on it. I said, oh, shit. You know, so I went and got Revan and I just, I just, it just didn't do it for me. I know that Carperson is working with what he can work with, and I get the sense of, you know, this, that, and third with this other guy, and da, da, da. But I wish they would have gave me the part where Revan was a Sith, and he was with uh, his other guy, his other compadre. That would have been a more interesting story than what we have here. Because this is after he got brainwashed or, or mind wiped by the Jedi, and then he was with his wife, which is nice. And then he hooks up with his friend, the, uh, the, uh, more, the more, the more, the more, oh gosh, what's the name? You know, them people. And, uh, and then he went to go find out something. So anyway, so, uh, some, like find the, the mask of the, the helmet of the guy with the thing with the people. All right. So, uh, so that's, that's, that was disappointing. I wouldn't recommend it. I couldn't get with the old Republic stuff except for Bane. All right. Dooku. The Dooku was all right. What made it different was they had a cast of voice actors as opposed to just one guy doing all the voices. And uh, what disappointed me <clears throat> was that they didn't use the voice actors from Clone Wars. That was a disappointment. Uh, but the story was okay. It gave us a greater insight into uh, Dooku, right? It showed us Dooku when he was young and everything like that. And it gave us... I. I don't think it gave me a deeper understanding of Ventress at all, but it definitely gave me an understanding of Dooku, and I appreciate his character uh, more after that. So I think it's okay. All right, uh, Dark Force Rising is that the uh, that's the Black Fleet Crisis, I think, or something. I don't know, but that was I, I can't remember the Shadow of the Empire. Shadow of the Empire was I. That's with the guy. Who's a businessman, uh, you know, crime lord, who is working with, uh, working for the emperor directly, and uh, you know, he got a vendetta against Vader, and you know, I, I heard that they made some changes up with this one because Leia was supposed to be straight seduced, but they kind of curbed that. You know, it's it's an old school kind of a Star Wars story, which I it's I it's pretty good. It's a pretty good. Uh, Jedi Trial, I even don't remember it. I really don't remember it. Um, let's see here. Uh, Planet of the Twilight, don't remember it. Uh, let's see here. Shield of Lies. Oh, man, I don't remember. Isn't that crazy? Uh, Labyrinth of Evil was pretty good. I think it, it's, it's what happens before. Is it before? If it, let me see. Let me see. Anakin. Da, da, da. So, basically, what I do remember is um, I, I like it because it shows uh, Attican and Obi-Wan having adventures, and then they're chasing down, uh, trying to figure out who this Sidious guy is, and then they're getting outsmarted by, um, by uh, Grievous because you know who Palpatine is and stuff like that. So it was decent. It was, it was all right. It was decent. It was all right. It was decent. But the greatest, the greatest Star Wars uh, audio book ever is Air to Empire, to me. And then next to that is Darth Plagueis. Just because the characters are, are, are sound, you know, they behave in a way that you would expect them to behave. It's no agenda they're pushing or nothing. It's just straight up and down classic Star Wars. And so I like that. Um, it opens <clears throat> with uh, Thrawn second in command on the bridge. Jesus Christ, what's the guy's name? Begins with a B. Y'all are probably yelling it out right now. But that guy, yeah. So, you know, this is after the Empire fell or whatever and everything got destroyed. And so Thrawn kind of, you know, pieced together, you know, the, 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 the Imperial Remnant, so to speak, and he's making his next move. So, um, so that's part of a trilogy, I believe, of books. Uh,